Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Today we will continue our lesson about soluble and insoluble materials. So we will start now. Nisa adds two materials into a glass of water and stirs. Okay, look before stirring and after stirring. We will put together corn kernels and sugar, and then after stirring, we we will observe the picture here. What happened to the picture here, and then look the conversation between the teachers and the students here. A, where is the sugar? Why are the corn kernels still visible? The sugar is still there, but has dissolved in the water. The corn kernels are still visible because they don't dissolve in water. So maksud dia di sini, apabila dia menguji, apabila murid ini menguji, gula itu sudah tidak kelihatan, karena dia sudah larut dalam air cikgu cakap. Dan corn kernels still visible. Dia maksudnya dia masih lagi kelihatan sebab dia tidak larut dalam air. So the corn kernel still visible because they don't dissolve in the water. Alright, let's continue. So some material can dissolve in water, such as sugar. Some material cannot dissolve in water, such as corn kernels. Okay, ada bahan yang boleh larut dalam air. Contoh dia gula. Okay, ada juga bahan yang tidak boleh larut dalam air. Contoh dia corn kernels. Alright. How can we know which material dissolves in water? Let's investigate. Okay, if you have these apparatus and material, you can do this at your home. We need a water to level beaker, glass root, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of green bean, and one teaspoon of rice. So the step of activities here: number one, pour 200 ml of water into each beaker. Number two, add salt into beaker A, green beans into beaker B, and rice into beaker C, and still to water in each beaker and observe the change. Alright, let's discuss the answer together for uh, for these activities. You record your observation in the table as shown below. Alright, so let's discuss together. For example, number one, beaker A, the material is salt. So what do you think? If we stir the salt in the beaker, what do you think? Visible or not visible? Okay, the answer will be not visible. Right? Not visible. Okay, the answer will be not visible. K and B. K. It is because the salt dissolve in water. So the answer will be D. Alright. So B K B. When we test green mat. Sorry. When we test a green beans here. When we stir the green bean the water. K. Visible or not visible? The answer will be the green bean will be visible. K. The green bean will be visible. Alright. So the answer will be here. Visible. Okay, the answer will be visible. Okay, for green beans. Okay, sorry. For green bean will be visible. All right, here. All right, visible, and the green bean will not dissolve. Okay, will not dissolve in water. So the answer will be D. D. Do not dissolve. All right. How about the last one? B K C for the material is rice. What do you think? Visible or not visible? The answer will be the rice will be visible in the water, right in the water. And so means that this one will not dissolve. Okay, do not dissolve. Right. So for conclusion here, we know that salt dissolve in water, green bean and rice do not dissolve in water. Let's move to situation number one. Material that dissolve more quickly. So which water can dissolve sugar more quickly? So we will investigating the solubility of sugar in hot and cold water. So the apparatus and material needs here: cold water, hot water, two beakers, sugar spoon, and glass roots. So this is the step: pour 200 ml of cold water into beaker A and 200 ml of hot water in beaker B. Number two: add one teaspoon of sugar into each beaker. Number three. Still, the water in both beakers at the same time. So observe the sugar in beaker A and beaker B, which dissolves first. Record the observation. Actually, material that dissolves more quickly in hot water than cold water. Okay, bahan-bahan sebenarnya lebih mudah melarut di dalam air yang lebih panas berbanding air yang lebih sejuk. Situation number two: Why is the tea still not sweet even after sugar has been added? So let's investigating the solubility of sugar through stirring. Apparatus and materials needs here. We need water, two beakers, cold sugar, glass root, and also spoon. 
So this is the step of the activity. Number one, pour 200 ml of water into each beaker. Number two, add one teaspoon of coarse sugar and one cube of sugar into each beaker. Number three, sip the water in both beaker at the same time. And lastly, record your observation. So the question is, which one will be dissolved more quickly, small one or the bigger one? All right, actually, the small size material dissolves more quickly than the big size material. So what can you conclude from the three investigation here? Material can dissolve more quickly in hot water when they're still and when they are small in size. Material can dissolve more quickly in hot water when they're still and when they are small in size. Maksudnya di sini, bahan-bahan itu, bahan-bahan boleh uh, berlarut dengan lebih cepat dalam air panas apabila dikacau dan juga dalam bentuk yang kecil saiznya. That's all for today class. Thank you very much.